we're back for some more weekly updates. I have a few weekly updates that I want to share with you this week. Number one, last week we talked to you about the Knights of Columbus uh, Christmas uh, food collection uh, here in Blissfield. So we had some bags. We still have a few bags left. Hey, I want to show you a magic trick real quick. You ready? Whoa, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Right? How about this? Yeah, you didn't see that one coming. You know how many years it took me to do that? To learn how to do that? A lot. Anyhow, if uh, you have an opera, if you didn't have a chance to get a bag, uh, there's still a few left here in the Walk-In Center. Uh, again, it's uh, they have some they have some items listed here, and this is just uh, every Christmas a way of they collect some food to provide for some families in need. So. If you would like to grab one, please let us know. Uh, if you don't have an opportunity to grab one, email Stacy. She'll get this information to you, okay? And then you can just fill it up, bring it to the office, or we can figure out another way. But uh, again, just an opportunity to bless a family uh, with some items uh, that are in need uh, for Christmas. Speaking of which, uh, this week we will also have the ornaments out there for the Catherine Cobb Shelter. If you remember, the Catherine Cobb Shelter is uh, a place for uh, uh, domestic battered women uh, that we help support. And so there's some, a need there and we always provide like a Christmas dinner. We put on a Christmas dinner and then we have Santa Claus and we give the kids gifts and things like that. Uh, this year the dinner will not be happening but we're still going to do the Christmas gifts. Uh, those ornaments that has the kids names on them and some items that you could purchase will be in the lobby. Again, if you can't pick one of those up but you still wanna participate, Give Stacy an email, that's exactly right. Give Stacy an email, she will connect, or you can even call the church office, she will get your phone call, and she will get that information to you. Last and certainly, but not least, uh, we have some prayer, uh, some significant prayer concerns that we want to present to you. Uh, we did email you, uh, to let you to solicit your prayer, to get you to pray for Sharon Dashner, who is in the hospital. Uh, with COVID. Uh, please continue to pray for her. I haven't had an update just yet, but as soon as we do, I will get that information out to you. And I think we might have a couple others in the hospital uh, that is experiencing uh, complications with COVID. Um, regardless of how you believe, really not the point right now. The point is, could you please pray? Uh, we just need your prayers. Uh, those individuals need your prayers. We need to pray that God would just reach and touch them and heal them. So please, uh, let's just lift them up from prayer. Uh, certainly Sharon Dashner is the one I, I know for sure. And as soon as I find out uh, about some others that, I, that I, I think that I that may be in the hospital, I will let you know as well. But please continue to pray for her. Please continue to pray for Jerry Van Buren. He's still healing up from his uh, hip surgery. And so uh, we wanna continue to, to remember him a prayer, knee surgery, I believe it was, one or the other, but still we need to continue to remember him a prayer. Uh, so anyhow, please just continue to pray through this time. Okay, that's what we need. We need to gather around, we need to really center on some prayer. So we just really uh, covet your prayers uh, for the whole body and you know, for, for Element Church and just during this time of uncertainty. It was great seeing you. Look forward to worshiping with you this week. So please uh, uh, just begin to prepare your uh, minds and your hearts uh, for that. So we'll talk with you. Have a great week.